hey everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts in today's video we will be discussing ranks in tableau so i will be discussing what are ranks and how do we create ranks in tableau and what are the different types of ranks so like rank dense rank rank mod rank percentile rank unique we'll be discussing all of these and we will also have all of these ranks one beside the other so that it gets easier for you to understand and also we will be discussing how we can specify the ascending or descending order so stay tuned for that for this we will be using a sample data source this data source we have made on our own this just has two columns so one is attribute and the other is value so in attribute there are just basic L, uh, alphabets a b c d and values will have different values make sure to have values which are common so make sure two alphabets have the same value so in that case you will understand ranks better now let's get started with the video first of all let's uh, put in the attribute and the value now let's start by defining our ranks we'll go to this drop down arrow and select create calculated field so your dialog box may open like this. All you have to do is you have to find this little arrow and click on it. You will see all the functions available in Tableau and the different categories. We are focused on rank, which is available in table calculation. However, you can simply go to all and type in rank. So you get the different variants of rank. This rank, rank dense, rank modified, rank percentile, and rank unique. We'll go through each one of those one by one and show them in the table against each other. So, first, let's start with rank. I'll define it as rank and double click on rank, then drag and drop sum of value. And that's how you have created your first rank code. Click on OK and then drag and drop over here. I'll just change the order in which this appears. And also, I'll first I'll increase the size of this. And now I'm going to order, sort this based on the value so that we can see the ranks in the particular order that they have been designated. So right now you'll see that rank one is allotted to D, which is the highest value with 534 and rank 2 has a tie on E and A because both of them have the same value and then 3 is ignored and it starts with 4. So this is how a simple rank function works. Now let's define some of its variants and see the difference between each of them one by one. So I'll go and define it in the same way that I did previously and add it onto the add it onto the table. I'll speed it up a little so I'll speed it up a little and uh, there would not be any narration in the background but if you get stuck anywhere you can slow down the pace on YouTube settings or you could simply pause the video and you'll be able to catch up it's the same procedure in simple So now we have all our rank variants uh, on the table. Let's understand them one by one. First of all, we had rank, the normal rank. So what they did was they started ordering them in a descending order, that is the default. And then when they encountered a va two va similar values, they were given the same rank and the next rank was skipped. Basically, these was, there was supposed to be a second and third. But since there was a tie for that, the third rank was not included and the fourth rank was the one awarded next. Then there was rank dense. In rank dense, during the tie, they did the same thing. They awarded the same rank to both the tied people. 
but they did not skip rank number three that was still included so basically third position was not taken up by e or a it was still up for grabs and they tied for second then we had rank modified in rank modified instead of giving the rank two both the parties were given the rank three so in this one two was skipped that okay neither of you had rank two both of you are were on rank three and then we move on to four five six then we have rank percentile now the major difference between rank percentile and other variants is that the default for rank percentile is ascending order and i'm going to teach you how to change this ascending order to descending order so find rank percentile click on the drop down arrow and click on edit the dialog box pops up again the place where your sum value bracket ends put a comma a quotation d e s c another quotation and i'll drag this down and then click on apply you'll see that it changed its value immediately and that's how you change from ascending to descending. Now, what rank percentile does it instead of assigning one, two, three, it takes up, it gives you a percentile number that among all of these you belong in this percentile. And so these values always range between zero and one. Now, finally, we have rank unique. Rank unique completely disregards any dies. It'll basically, if there are two 492s, the 492 that appears first would be given the least rank. That is, in our table, E appeared first, so E should be rank number two. That's simply how it works in with rank unique. Now, I'm going to manually drag down E below A and see what happens. Right now, E has rank two. I drag this down, and E is awarded rank three. So, rank unique gives rank unique gives a unique rank to each tied position, and whichever one appears first is given the least rank. Now, among all of these, it's up to you and your understanding and your need for the visual that you're trying to create, based on which you need to select which rank suits you the best. So make sure your concepts on the differences between all rank types is clear and then add up a formula into your table that is all from our side thank you for watching track concepts we hope this video was helpful to you and if you like this video and would like more such videos please consider subscribing